We are living in a pressure cooker. A society with diametrically opposed ideas slowly sinking under its own weight. Men against women, women against men, black against white, religion, pro-life versus pro-choice. This leads to some of the most important questions we all have. What is truth? How should I live my life? Why am I here? Should I be a liberal, conservative? Do I need religion? This all boils down to our struggle in search for meaning and peace. It wouldn't be the first, nor will it be the last. We had the Enlightenment period in the 17th century, an era where science and reason had supposedly triumphed over tradition and religion as societal guiding principles of progress. There were two central pillars to this period, the perfectibility of human nature and the belief in human progress through the development of human knowledge, especially the sciences. The movement came crashing down following the French Revolution in the 1700s. Ironically, self-interest fashioned its end as those in power had hoped to tighten their grasp by promising equality to the people. The Napoleon Wars had also played a part. The failed promises of the Enlightenment period eventually gave birth to modernism in the 19th century. Once again, the belief was that tradition, religion and institutions were oppressive, divisive and inefficient. This was fueled by the rise of industrial societies, the development of larger, more populated cities and the tragedy of World War I. Under this belief, technological developments affirmed that human progress would ultimately lead to peace and safety. Unfortunately, modernism became increasingly rejected following the onset of World War II. Instead, postmodernism, a nihilistic response to modernism, became increasingly popular. The core beliefs were in favor of subjective over objective truth. In other words, everything is relative. There is my truth and your truth, never a truth. And naturally, decentralization over centralization. You get the picture. What makes postmodernism a dangerous ideology is not only its internal inconsistency, but the inevitable downward spiral created by the failure to distinguish between morally depraved beliefs and what is true. What would happen if power fell into the hands of those that believe in such depraved beliefs? Popular culture frequently takes the position that Christianity is a philosophy of abuse, founded on myths and ignorance. Consider the claim, religion causes wars. Well, according to circular scholars such as Charles Phillips, Gordon Martell and Alan Axelrod, Religious motivations only factor into about 6 or 7% of all wars in human history. Remove Islam from consideration and that number drops by more than half. In truth, Christianity's emphasis on compassion and peace has done far more to prevent and soften violence than it has contributed to it. Christianity offers more than hope. The sins we commit, small or large, have grieved and separated us from our Creator. God loves us so much that He made a way for us to be reconciled with Him through His Son, Jesus Christ. Turn to Him and He will give you peace.